A mother sounding off tonight after learning her teenage daughter's killer will likely spend less than six years in a juvenile detention center. Well, today, the 16-year-old girl pleaded guilty to stabbing the teen to death in a fight that prosecutors say began over McDonald's sweet and sour sauce. Tonight, that mother talking exclusively with our Shamari Stone. Good evening. This is the home where 16-year-old Naima Lagon, her mother, and her younger brother lived. Her mother put up this Christmas tree over the weekend, and it was supposed to be a joyous occasion. This is the tree that Naima liked, but Naima isn't here. There is, however, an ornament that reads, Those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day. Now, over here, near the television, there's an urn. Inside is Naima's ashes. And to the right of that is a book that reads, In Loving Memory of Naima Honeywell Legon. Honeywell was her nickname that her basketball teammates gave her. All of this, a painful reminder of what happened outside of the McDonald's in D.C. over the summer. The mother says the teenage killer and three other friends had gone to a late-night party and stopped by the McDonald's at 14th and U to get something to eat. That is when when they started arguing over sweet and sour sauce. Today, Naima's mother says the 16-year-old killer, who Fox 5 will not name, pleaded guilty as a juvenile to fatally stabbing Naima Ligon outside the McDonald's at 14th and U Street Northwest around 2 o'clock in the morning on August 27th. The teenage attacker was charged with first-degree murder as a juvenile, and she was scheduled to go to trial next Monday. But Naima's mother tells me the suspect made a deal with prosecutors pleading guilty as a juvenile to voluntary manslaughter while armed and carrying a dangerous weapon. Now, as a juvenile, the maximum penalty she faces is confinement in a youth detention center until her 21st birthday. You're now going to hear exclusively from Naima Lagan's mother here in her living room. First of all, I want to thank you for exclusively speaking with me. How are you feeling right now? Mm, I feel numb. I feel hurt. Um, I. I just, I'm a mixed bag of emotions, honestly. Did you consult with prosecutors about this plea deal? We did. The prosecutors asked for our feedback. The family's position was that we wanted to go to trial for first degree murder. I think that would be the appropriate charge and that was granted by the judge. Obviously, you told me you don't feel that justice has been served. What does justice look like? I really don't have the answer to that. I, I, what I can tell you is it, just, it does not feel like justice that uh, the person that took our daughter is going to be possibly at the maximum in a detention center for five and a half years. It seems like it should be more than that. Now, that. you also said that it was your daughter who was trying to break up a fight between the teenage attacker and another girl. Mm -hmm. And this argument, prosecutors say, started over sweet and sour sauce, mm -hmm. something just, that's awful. Yeah, and I knew from the get-go that it was not an argument that Naima was involved in with sweet and sour sauce. She didn't even eat sweet and sour sauce. So, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous to me. It's senseless. Um, and I'm glad that the facts of the case have come out and that we know now that Naima was breaking up a fight. She was not instigating a fight. Well, I want to thank you for joining me, and, um, you know, I, I'm going to keep you in my prayers. Now, now that is uh, Naima Lagon's mother. Now... The teenage killer is expected to be sentenced in January. We'll continue to bring you updates here on Fox 5. I'm Shamari Stone in Waldorf. Back to you.